guys, my name is Jack Septicard, and welcome to Spyro Year of the Dragon. I'm actually gonna press start and go into the memory card menu here, because otherwise it's just gonna go into demo mode and go around and around and around. Oh my god, I'm so excited to play this! I put up- I- because Uncharted 4 finished recently, I had no idea what to play next as a long let's play. Well, I had some ideas, so I posited it to the- to the online community, to all of you guys. And I asked what people wanted to see, and I put down a list of options of what people wanted to see. And to my absolute complete surprise, I put down stuff like, I put down Crash 3 and Spyro in an option just, just for shits and giggles because in Uncharted 4, there was a Crash segment as an easter egg and I was so excited about the concept of playing an older game that I put down those just as like, kind of like a joke option, but everyone picked them! Everyone went and that's the thing that won out, so I decided which one am I gonna play, Crash 3 or Spyro? And more people picked Crash 3, but I didn't want to play that first. It's like, if people enjoy this and they want to see more, then I might play Crash 3 as well anyway. But I thought that Spyro 3, it has more of a, like, a story element going on. Crash is all about just level after level after level after level after level. Um, so there's no, like, open world kind of aspect to it. And it can get very monotonous and repetitive. So I didn't know how that was going to go down in a video. So I decided to play Spyro instead because I think there's more talking characters. It feels that it would make for a better let's play. Um, and Crash would be a lot shorter, so, I don't know, I decided to go for Spyro, and this, this game holds such a special place in my heart. Oh god, I'm so excited! Hopefully people enjoy this! Hopefully people are into the idea of doing, like, a way older game. This is way old! So, I'm really looking forward to this! Oh, Spyro, man! Haven't played you in ages! I had to get in just to see if it actually recorded properly, so we're starting right from the very start! An evil plot unfolds! Oh, my absolute childhood. My childhood senses are going crazy right now. <laughs> so this is setting up the premise of the whole game. And I'm taking off my shoes because it's warm. <laughs> oh, God. They're stealing all of the eggs! They're the original pigs from Angry Birds. <laughs> Look how polygonal everything is. Oh, it's awesome! <laughs> Get her! <laughs> Oh, Hunter! Nice! Oh, it's so awesome! Oh, man! We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent! Excellent! Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. <laughs> Oh no, Tinkerbell saw it all! <laughs> A desperate rescue begins. He's trying to pull him out of the hole right at the start. <laughs> Sparrow, Sparrow, come quick! Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro. You'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! <laughs> he can't even fit down the hole. <laughs> Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. It's so You're cheesy! Our only chance. You got it. Nice! Spyro's our fucking champion. He's so cool! I love Spyro so much! I wanted to be Spyro when I was younger, but I couldn't because he's a dragon. And I'm a boy. I'm a human, real life boy. Oh god, the nostalgia. Jesus Christ. And right into the game we go! Oh god, I have to use L1 and R1 to move the camera. Oh Christ! But yeah, okay. So, I played this game. I can't remember what year this game came out. I- I played it years ago, cause I got it for Christmas. Ah! Get up there! Um... And don't get me wrong, 
Crash 3 holds an incredibly special place in my heart as well. Oh, the sounds. But again, Crash 3 is one of those things where you get in and you can just like power through levels super fast. And I thought it might get a bit repetitive to watch. To watch me do that on a Let's Play, so I didn't know if people would like it or not, so... I decided to start with Spyro. Can I... I don't think I can actually go under the water. Um... Yeah, I got this game for Christmas. I remember... I woke up that one morning... And... Oh! The eggs! The eggs! The eggs! Oh god, my, my commentary is going to be all over the place. Because there's going to be so much childhood nostalgia that I want to say. I'm not even going to have the time to say it. Isabel! Ah, oh, so cute! <laughs> so that's the idea of the game. I have to go through the world and I have to open up the eggs. I, I basically force them to prematurely hatch. And then send them back to the, to the dragon world, where we were. But I thought this would be fun as well because all the names of the, the dragon babies that come out could be the names of some people who are watching, so there's that extra element to it. But I got this for Christmas when I was really young. And it was the first Christmas that, when I wake, woke up in the morning, we used to have a stocking on the bed. And I asked for Digimon at the same time. Some like little Digimon characters that changed, like transformed. But when I woke up in the morning, only Spyro was in my stocking hanging off my bed. And I thought, oh, was I bad for Christmas? Did he, did he not, did Santa not come? Oh. Oh, it's Bianca. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs. Huh? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, <laughs> I'm going to be very angry. And you oh like no! Angry. Are you the Hulk? <laughs> also, that's such a good insult. If you know it's good for you, crawl back up inside that hole that you came from. <laughs> crawl back. Crawl back inside your mother. <laughs> um, oh man. But yeah, I asked for Digimon as well at the same time. And when I woke up, there was only Spyro in my, in my thing. So I thought, oh. Was I bad that Santa not come and give me the things that I asked for? And then my mother came up and she was like, did you get your presents? And I was like, yeah, I did. Um, he, he got me Spyro. She was like, is, is that all? And I said, yeah, but it's cool because I wanted Spyro. And I, I was super happy to get the game. Because um, back then, games were um, not something that were easily bought. Ooh, I'm missing stuff. So... When I got it, I, I just got up immediately and started playing it. So she walked in and saw me playing it like in the kitchen, sitting on the table in my underwear, and that was it. And when she was like, oh really, did you not get anything else? Did you did you check your entire bed? And I was like, no. So, oh god, it's so hard to fucking coordinate. And then I went down and there was like Digimon hanging at the end of my bed. So I went down and I was like, really? How did you know they were there? So that kind of sparked my whole questioning of Santa and Christmas and everything. Oh, good memories, but <laughs> weird memories at the same time. Money bags! Hello, Sheila! Oh, so that's why this game holds such a special place in my heart. Crash kind of holds an extra special place in my heart because, well, if I play that game, I I'd be able to tell that story. But I thought it'd be fun to get in and play an extremely old game because not a lot of YouTubers do that, especially not a lot of the bigger YouTubers. They kind of play what's new or what's exciting or... Some of the other AAA games that are out in the last couple of years. So I thought it'd be fun to go back and play something really old and just get those nostalgia juices flowing. And there's going to be a lot of moments like this where I stop and talk about it because I have so much to talk about. But let's go talk to Moneybags and Sheila. Spyro, my, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> Well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman. No! She seems to be very fond of dragons, too. Of course she is! She stole all our babies! The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. That's horrible! She's a real character in this as well. What even are you? You're some sort of bear? You a gopher? I don't know. What what animals love to hoard money? Ah, uh, 300 gems. I only have 145. Oh, okay. Don't worry, Sheila. I'll be back. 
Um, so you're probably wondering why I decided to play Spyro 3 instead of starting at the start. Uh, but Spyro 3... Spyro 3 and Crash 3, I think, were the best in their series. Spyro 3, mainly because it has a, a decent story, there's a lot of eggs to, to collect, there's a lot of characters, you get to play as Sheila, you get to play as a dude who's a yeti, and I think you get to play as somebody else as well, but I forget who that is. You might even get to play as Sparks in this one. He's the dragonfly. Yo, Spyro, I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world. But I see it! But you'll glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump. I know, I know how to glide. And he just fucking leaps across. Um, but I'm really curious to see how many people played Spyro games when they were younger. Or how many people are even on the channel have ever even played some of these older games. You're back! No, I don't! I know, I know! To get the best light, yes, and I have to press triangle when I get across this one. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. I remember! <laughs> and then, oh, I didn't even have to do it. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. You were holding on to an egg all this time and you didn't tell me. That's why we came here! Not to have a fucking fun all the time! I just remembered there's skateboard levels in this game, where I get to go against Hunter. Oh, best! What's this egg's name? Coal Train! Any Coal Trains out there? Oh, they're so cute! I like how they all have their own animations as well. Nice! I forgot to go back and talk to the fairy back there as well. We'll go back and do that after. What is down here? Oh, yeah! Hello! This is a super fly power-up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Cool! And that was the- Ah, oh, I didn't mean to go through there. That was the thing as well. These things, instead of gliding, you actually get to fly indefinitely. Well, not indefinitely, but more so than anything else. And it was always the case that everyone wanted a Spyro game where you're able to fly around fully. That they were sick of gliding around everywhere. It was like, we're a dragon! We have wings! Hi, Sparks! That they wanted to do it, like, forever. Okay, so I, I have to use this to actually get to the end. To get to the end, to get the egg, and then I can come back and get all the other things. There we go! Yeah! Amy! Surely there's some Amy's out there. I love how they all have their own little animations. They're so fucking adorable. Okay, now we can go back and get these things. So these these first few levels I remember really well. And then after a while it gets a, it gets a bit fuzzy. I remember that there's a, a level where there's a lot of fireworks to blow up. If I remember. I don't know if I'm gonna 100% the game either. Or I don't I don't even know if people are gonna enjoy watching this. It's one of those things where it seems like a cool idea in my head. That people were just like, yeah, an older game. Why haven't we done this before? But at the same time, I don't know how people are going to react to an older game. Are they going to be a bit reluctant to watch it because people people want their graphics? But at the same time, there, there's people on the channel who are older, like me, in their like mid twenties. Um, as some people who are older than that would be like, "You're not old." I'm not saying I'm old. I'm saying I'm older. Oh yeah, I need enough eggs to be able to go into your world. I'm late for a dinner party in the Tiki Lodge. <laughs> the, the Tiki Lodge. Just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. Yeah! This is why I wanted to play this game first. Because there's characters, there's voices. I love this shit. In the Tiki Lodge. He kind of sounds like the version of Papyrus I do. Okay. And then you blow up the sheeps and they turn into butterflies. And then Sparks is able to eat them. Sparks is the indicator for my health. The dragonfly dude. He changes colors when you get hit. And then if you lose, or if he disappears then if you lose too much health and you have to go around and get all the the gems on your own and it's really annoying because now if you just go near one, Sparks picks it up. What are you going to tell me? Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the- Yeah, I know. I like it this way. Shut up. Otherwise I can get it to change when Spyro moves. But that gets a little annoying after a while because you feel like you don't have much control over it. But I can't use analog sticks! God damn it. Okay. What are you saying, Hunter? I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. Okay. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. <gasps> Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the square button. I know. 
Um, that, that's cannon. Cats are afraid of water. Yeah, we have sparks levels. I remember that, and they're like little shoot 'em ups. Shoot 'em up type levels. Spyro, I've got a special task for sparks. Meet me back here later. It's when you unlock some more of the worlds and get more of the eggs. And then this person needs help. Everyone needs help, and there's another person up further. Do you not. You not want to talk to me? Fine! I ain't even gonna help your world! I came here to rescue eggs! I don't know why all these eggs are just lying around if the queen lady wanted them. The sorceress lady. They're very bad at the job. I also love how cheesy all of this is. <laughs> oh god. It's just, I can just picture myself sitting in my bedroom playing this game. Actually, I didn't even play this in my bedroom. I played it in like my kitchen because I didn't have a, a TV in my room. It seems like all kids these days have TVs in their rooms. Count yourselves lucky. <laughs> Aha! Eggy poos! Bruce! Nice. So I, I'm curious to see how many people share the names of the eggs in the comments. Like the people who are like watching the videos. I th I th that was one of the reasons I played this because I, I, I thought it'd be a fun little interactive thing. So if, if you're... Ah, oh God. If you're any of the names that are in the eggs, sound off in the comments. And please don't make it up that you were one of them. Like, oh, my name's Bruce and really your name's like Charlie or something. Is that it? Did I get it all? This game takes ages to 100% as well. Because there's some levels that you have to come back to later, I think. Oh, man. Ah, get up! <laughs> okay, that's the hot air balloon one, right? Like how I'm asking some of you, and I can't even hear the answers. And some of you probably don't even know anyway. Okay, I'll come back here later. I think we are going to go to our first world, which was way back where's. How many things do I have? Can I check? How do I how do I check my progress? Can't remember. Oh, how do I get up there? And Sheila's cool. Sheila's the kangaroo. Okay, what are you gonna say? I forgot. Hi, Spyro. Hi! To look left or right? Press the L2 or R I know, to quickly send to your camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go in here. Sunny Villa! Our very first extra world. Oh, it's 398. I can actually free Sheila now. Oh, so cute. And then you have the levels that are all like in the air that you're flying around consistently. This is the the Roman one. There's actually a, a section in this where you get uh sorry. Where you get to, oh yeah, you can burn the plants. Where you get to do skateboarding with Hunter, and you get to burn the flowers. Oh, See, all oh, you guys, you're like, that's not a big deal. Back in the day, back in the old PlayStation days, that was huge. It was like, holy shit, they actually factored that in. And you could like, hit some of these dudes, I think. Can't remember. Oh my, oh my, uh, can you help us? Hordes of Hell yeah. Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. I will so get the mayor back from the Rhinox. That's it. No, no context needed. You don't need to know the motivations or anything. You're just straight in. Sup, motherfuckers? And this isn't my health. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. They hold up their shields so you can't fire them. But then, if you headbutt them, they die. Can you get that? Thank you. I don't want to go too close to the edge. Yeah. If you're at full health and you get a butterfly, you get an extra life. Now you're learning everything. I have to fight giant ones of them soon. Oh wait! Can I just shield them anyway? Let me catch my breath and I'll kick that other guy's butt. Kick that other guy's butt. You kinda sound like a, a bad knockoff Mario. I can just flame them. Okay, well, hush my fucking ass then. <laughs> Try to say, yeah, I remember Spyro so well. You had to do this, this, and this. Don't listen to me, I'm wrong. Burn, burn the tree. Burn the tree! Okay, I didn't want to fall down here. I did want to fall down here, I missed some shit. I'm gonna try and 100% these things as best as possible. Cause it's fun! It's fun to get 100% in all of them. This Rhinoc is too big to charge. You'll have to flame him using the circle button. I know! You sound like Rosanna Pansino. <laughs> oh, he almost hammered me! God damn, dude! Wait, what was my button? 
There we go, I could headbutt. And the other thing then was a look at the like a little hummingbird thing. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I love this game so much. Because not only did it, was it a special place in my heart when I played it, it's just a damn good game. From like the era of platformers and all that shit, it was just a really good game. It combined so many different mechanics. There we go. Kill them all! That's essentially what I'm doing. It's just killing everybody. God, I have 506 already. <laughs> Die, bitch! I, I like as well how I'm playing a kid's game. Well, back then it was a kid's game. Right now it's kind of like a classic that kids these days likely wouldn't play. Yeah, get them all. Eggy Poos, who are you? Vanessa! What are you gonna do? Backflips for days! So, some of, some of them repeat the animations, which is fine. They don't all have to be unique and perfect. Sometimes, sometimes we all do similar things to each other. That's just dragon nature. What? Hi, Spyro. Each time a fairy zaps you like this... <laughs> that means your progress is saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the- Yes, yes, you're my checkpoints. Thank you. <laughs> Every time a fairy zaps you like this, struck by lightning, <laughs> it's like you just die on the spot and turn into a chicken wing. Like these dudes are flying around. Oh, he almost hit me. He almost hit me. That's what we'll do. We'll do a no-hit run of Spyro. If I get hit, I'll just start the game over. <laughs> or not. Jake Chicken! He killed that chicken! Kill that chicken in cold blood! That's what they're doing! They're killing the chickens and turning them into like big turkey legs! Yeah, they're killing the chickens and turning the chickens into turkey legs! That makes logical sense. Hey! Augustus, I saved you! What is your name? Thanks Horace. for the help, but I think I would have worn him down in a minute. Do you have an egg? Come on! Why am I even saving you sons of bitches? You guys don't have anything! That frog sound is so familiar. Have you seen any of our giant chickens? The oh yeah, these dudes have like extra stuff. Wait, is that the whole world? I thought... Ah! Crap, I got smacked! Okay, starting the game over again. <laughs> nice. I thought there was like a whole other area. Thank you for rescuing my town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. You see that motherfucking fly just flew past? Did he show up in camera? Asshole almost smacked me. These aren't giant chicken eggs, it's a dragon egg. It's the funniest looking chicken I've ever seen. Sanders! Yeah! Thomas Sanders. Oh, he did the chicken dance. Da 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 da, clap, 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 clap. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. <laughs> ugliest the chicken I've ever seen. So, right now, I don't know why he went back. I can go back to the world I just came from, or I can keep going. I'm gonna keep going up in this. Let's have some fun. This game is sick. I wanna take a ride on your spiral stick. Okay, full health, please. Thanks. Oh, and I get a full life. I guess I don't know as much as I thought I knew. This is the skateboarding section, and this is going to control like total dog nuts right now. Because I remember back in back in the day, it was really fucking hard. Hi, Spyro. I found this gladiator training arena, and it makes nice a shorts. pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? Oh man, my boarding skills are so good. I'm I'm fucking bored 24/7. <laughs> Start the challenge! Hell yeah! I bet you can't catch all 15 of the lizards running around here. Fucking fly! Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. Oh, and I, I assume that's you. I think there's races later on as well with the board. Okay, I have to remember this. And if you fall off, I think you have to start again. Not sure. Da, da, da. It's been fucking years since I played this man. Ha! Got him. Got him. Now you have to come back down at a nice angle. Oh crap. Oh crap. Wow! Yes. We're not we're not getting ready to do some fucking sick tricks yet. Oh, don't you worry. The sickest of tricks are coming. I have to, I I can't 
smack into anything though. You smack into these, but if I smack into a wall or those wooden things, I fall off my board and have to start again. I, I keep the lizards I've gotten, but I have to just have to start over again from another board place. I have to like go into one of these. Fuck you, son of a bitch. Okay, it's not as hard as I remember it being. That or I just got much better at games. There we go, there we go. Okay, we go through this again. I think there might have been some... Yes. Get him, Sparks! Thank you, little buddy. If you wasn't around, this game would be such a pain in the ass. Because you'd have to walk over all the items. Look at these lizard bastards hiding out from me. Okay, I forget how I do that. I think you have to press X at the top. And then you just go straight up. Yeah! I didn't get him. You guys sound like monkeys! God damn it! I'm gonna get these bastards. I'm gonna get these dudes. There we go, there's one! Laughing at me! Just, uh, Straight up laughing at me! All this time! <laughs> Fire him in the ass! Woo! Don't, don't lose it! Nice! Just five left! Can we do this all in one skateboard right? I think we can! Oh god, I almost fucking crashed. This isn't crash, it's Spyro. <laughs> Excellent jokes, bro. <laughs> Shit, I shouldn't have come down. Okay, I have to get these. I have to get the gems. That's what it's all about. I have a girlfriend who I'm going to propose to. Spyro's girlfriend. I didn't realize. <laughs> I just realized that some people would be like, Oh my god! No! That's still quite a while away, I think. Um, Spyro has a has a girl that he's trying to impress. Okay, get these get these gems. I get those other gems as Spyro. Ah! And I, I, what I mean as Spyro is I mean on his feetsies. I'm not going to do it on the boardsies. Let's come up. I got this. I got this. I I got this. I. Ha! Yes, baby. Fuck you! Here we go. Get all of the gems in here. No! Damn it all! Okay. I don't think- do I have to do any sick tricks in here? I think you get all the lizards. And then after that- crap, there was a board thing back there I could've got- I get these first. You get all the lizards, then he, he challenges you to a sick trick off. Go away, fly! Big blue bottle bastard. Um, what do you guys call those? Like big fat house flies? Just house flies. We call them blue bottles. Or blue blue arse flies. As some people call it. Ah, oh, here we go. Ha! Nice. Nice! Check it out, Hunter! Anthony, that was great! Thanks, bro. And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. Where? Of course, you were just standing there. You were just hiding all these eggs all this time and he wants to eat them. Then Spyro shows up and it's just like... And he's like, fine, I'll give it over. Who do we got? Who do we got? Emily! There's definitely some Emilys out there watching. Alright, if you can catch all the lizards without wiping out and before time runs out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. See? It's not gonna be easy though. That hoarding bastard, he's just keeping a bunch of them in his pants. That's why his pants are so big and fat. Go get him, Spyro! Oh, this might be a pain in the ass to do. So I have to get all of them again. But now I have to do it in a time limit. Without wiping out. So I'm not allowed to fall off the board. And just as a disclaimer, this doesn't exactly control the absolute best either. See? I almost thought I fell off there for a second. Okay, we're going up and around. Up and around, we're gonna get all these eggs. If if my name isn't Spyro S. Dragon. Let's go down through this way. Nice, nice, nice! Getting it done, bro! Okay. Is there one up here? Yep. Yeah. <gasps> no! Fuck it! Fuck my ass! <sighs> Too bad! You know what, Hunter? Go, go, go away from me. I don't want to look at you anymore. Okay. Niceness. We're gonna do it! I believe in Jack. I believe in Spyro. Nice! 
Nice! Don't fall off! Those who fall off can fuck off! My palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on my spiral already! Mom, spaghetti! Nice! Sparts not too hard! Sparts, this part's fine! It's that little son of a bitch! Now immediately turn! There we go! Woo! Don't even need to go up on it this time! Let's get this little son of a bitch! Shit! Oh god! These jumps are the hardest part! Because if you don't come back down properly, Spyro's just like, you know what? I'm not skateboarding today! And he fucks it up! Nice! I probably shouldn't have done that! Woo! Feeling good! Feeling fresh as a daisy! You know what? You know what? You can just go suck dicks! This dragon bitch! He's not a dragon, he's a lizard! Come on! I was gonna get him and then go over here! Fine, we're going over and doing this! Ha! Damn it! Sparks, you couldn't have just got that gem that was back there? These are the last two! Okay, it'd be easier to get him this direction. And... Fire Nass! One more! One more! My heart is actually beating quite hard right now. So I want to do this! Ha! Yes! Suck on my nads! Whoa, that was sweet! And look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. Oh! Shocker! Hunter's hiding more eggs! Who knew about that? That's gonna be the ongoing joke for this series. That Hunter just has eggs lying around everywhere. He secretly stole a bunch of them because he's a cheetah! And he doesn't see them, or he's a leopard, I can't remember. I think he's a cheetah. Daisy! Oh, that's a cute name. Wing! I love this sound effect. Woo! Is that it? You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out. Good luck. Good luck. Does that give me another egg? I can't remember how to do tricks. I can't remember how to do like backflips and shit. I do know how to do this though. That gets me some stuff. Okay. Oh! Sick moves! Do I have to, like, hold a direction as I jump? Oh, it's triangle! Ah, okay! Okay, I got it! I wanna te I wanna test that out, actually! And now I can just actually start from anywhere. I know I've been spending a lot of time in this skateboard area, but it's worth it. Oh, sick! Woo! Nice move, Spyro Baby! Oh, it's just enough. It's just enough! Yes! That's the Spyro I know and love. That's the Spyro who would not give up on his family. Oh, yes! Nice 3Ds, bro! That, that was counted as backflips, didn't they? Oh! 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 Sick! Sick tricks! This is fucking awesome! Spyro! You're a sexy little dragon, did you know that? We're going up here? Oh! Oh! <laughs> and just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep- Oh shit. Damn it! What's the course record? I thought it said until I wipe out. I can keep going? Awesome! Where's the board? Here it is. That was awesome. Do my points not keep going up? You fucking bet they do. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, I almost had it. Okay, let's just stay over here. Nice. And then... Oh, shit! What did I get? Course record is 3200! Fuck that nonsense. I'm not doing that. If that's for another egg, I'll come back and do that later. I'm not doing it right now. I want to move on! See you later, Hunter! Yeah, egg hoarding bastard. <laughs> okay, because I want to get like another world done before the episode ends. Man, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. We show those two bullies.
If they hadn't outnumbered- Ah, shut up. I'm the one who did all the work. I'm gonna go back and talk to this dude and see what he says now. I saved your mayor. Are you happy? Would you like a chicken sandwich? They're very good. Yeah, actually. In real life right now, I would love a chicken sandwich. You guys, you guys giving me some? What's the button I press to check my progress? Wait, we press select. 274 out of 400 complete. Hop to Rapunzel. Okay, so there's more shit to do in this area. Where was the, the next part? Look at that, the giant, the chicken. Ah, oh, I thought I could flame his, flame his feathers off. Okay, eat that butterfly. There is a place that I have to fly to somewhere on this map. Hello, why didn't I kill you before? Here we go. I think it might be over here. Ah, turn around, Spyro. Rapunzel, I think it might be up there. Because Rapunzel, tallest tower, kind of thing. Yeah, that's the thing that goes on in this game. Aha, you see those platforms over there? That's where we're heading. Yes. There's some platforms all the way over in the distance from where we start. Over here. Nice, nice, nice. Digga digga digga. Digga digga dig. That's a nice move because it stops you. It stops you dead. So you don't go too far. Are you Rapunzel? Miles, no. Ah, oh, that was adorable. And I remember one of them comes out and realizes they're naked and it's then just like, <laughs> um, right, there's another place that I, I can go, I think. Because I don't have it all yet. I'm only content when I have it all. Can't just, can't half-ass this shit. Even though I kind of changed my tune from the start of the video. <laughs> eh, over here. Yeah, over there. I remember. I remember. I remember. Woo! Is there any gems around on top of here? Oh, of course there are. There's gems hidden everywhere. You can't just see no fucking Namby Pamby gem hoarder. Oh, I need Sheila for it. Dang it. Okay. Let's head home. We can head home now and just go back and free Sheila. And then we might do Sheila's level. See what I mean? You have to come back to the levels later on when you get more of the characters. Sheila was one of my favorites because Sheila has a super jump. And it's awesome. She jumps so far. She can't do flames and she can't sprint around to go fast, but she got jumpers. I did it! Money bags, man! How's it going? I've I've 700. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. Uh -huh. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Oh, you mean like, oh, I thought it said 700. 300, there we go. I love your sweet naivety, your kind-hearted nature. Sorry, I skipped it by accident. Good eye, Sheila. No hard feelings. Kick him, kick him right in the gut. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. Smack. After all, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah. Yeah. Named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. <laughs> I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well. I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Tiddly, Sheila. I think Spyro's also voiced by the dude who did Raiden in Metal Gear Solid. Quentin Flynn? Quentin Flynn? I think. I can't remember. 
Might be. He was also Cone in the English dub of Bleach. So I was watching that recently. Sheila's up! Let's go do this. This'll be fun. Treasure's found. Zero. Total treasure. 409! I'm rich. So Sheila's gonna get a lot of eggs and then that'll allow me to open up the Tiki Lodge and then... Progress, Thank progress, progress. Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Locked up? That's not an Australian lady doing that accent. That is most definitely somebody of a different nationality doing it. Hiya, Sheila. While you are gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. See, this is what I don't get. Sheila is clearly Australian because she's a kangaroo, but she's gone back to Sheila's Alp, which seems to be in Europe. I know, these dudes are like yodelers. So she has a smack. Oh god, she controls weird because she bounces a lot further than you'd think. Kick that goose. Uh, right. So she has a double jump. And then she does this. She can also, like, there's walls like that later that she can smack into. And she breaks them, I believe. There's like a fucking didgeridoo going on. Ha! <laughs> But she's a bit harder to control because she needs to get close to smack people. And she needs to like smack stuff like this, whereas Spyro can just be far away and he can just flame on! Get that... Get that goosey chicken thing. Did I get a new life? I fucking did. Nice! You can get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. With your press double jump? Button to jump and press it exactly when you hit the ground to do a double jump. Oh yeah, you do and then... Woo! She goes super high. That was the jump. Woo! And then you go, huh, or huh. Those are my favorites. Some of the ones later on you get, and it's just dun 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 fun 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 fun. <laughs> That's Kazoo Kid, by the way, for any of you who don't know what it is. I keep referencing it all the time. He's awesome. Kazoo Kid is the best. L look up Kazoo Kid Trap Remix. It's so fucking good. Hello. Last. Billy! Here, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. Thank you! Also, there's a fully fledged dragon inside it, so you'd probably end up killing it, or he'd kill you. But his name's Billy! Screw you, Billy! What's the, what's the egg's name? Ruby. Oh. Oh, she got a little bow on her head! How were you born with a bow on your head? Makes no sense. Okay, I got them both. I don't think those walls are anything I can hit. Can I get up on the roof? No. Wow. Hello? What is up? Last time we tried to get past this moose, he knocked Billy clean through a wall. If you don't mind, we'll just hang out here while you give him a good kicking. What? What is your accent? Are you German? Are you Scandinavian? Last time we tried to get past this moose, he knocked Billy clean through a wall. Yeah, you said the same fucking thing. Ha! <laughs> See what I mean? Fucking strong ass feet! How you guys like that? You guys impressed? Where are you going? God, this camera is slow. You guys happy now? You proud of me? So I'm, I'm trying to help all these dudes get back into their houses. Ah, fuck! Okay, I'm not doing this section yet. I'm gonna keep moving forward. Because that's a big section full of extra stuff. I want to do the main pathway first, or that might be the main pathway, and I'll do this. Hey Damn it. <laughs> ah, come on! Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Punk! And punk! And punk! Nice! I think Sheila has a section in the Tiki Lodge that I get to do as well. So I want to know what people's favorite character is. Is it just Spyro? Is it Sheila? Is it the other dude later on? The Yeti? Can't remember his name. Sorry! Hey Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. No! Also, are you noticing a pattern? We have Pete, Bobby, and Billy so far. They're all guys that I named in Happy Wheels. <laughs> That's awesome. Jenny, not so much. Oh, you're born with glasses and big teeth. Yeah, 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 whatever. Skip. There we go. Wait, are you gonna say something about the egg? Nope, he's just happy. 
Are you guys not yodelers? I thought one of you was a yodeler. Okay. Ah! Did I see a thing back here? Yeah, I fucking did. I have to use Ina Super Jump! Woo! Didn't get up. Woo! Got up. What's up, Moose? You wanna tussle with the- Too late. You're dead. That's- that's all she wrote. Ha! Oh, okay. You had slightly more in you, but not a lot. Did I get them all? Sometimes you miss them, and it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Boing, boing, boing. Woo! Moving on up! Do you have a special- no. Sometimes they have sparkly ones in them, and it gives you an extra life. Hello! Those Rhinox have taken over! There'll be no stopping them unless we can smash the huts! The huts are- Dude, that's not fucking nice! Remember how to stomp? Yes, that's just a tutorial on how to stomp. What sound is he making? Ah, uh, he's distracting them. Ha! Bang! Ha ha ha! I am literally making you guys homeless. Instead of working on a solution that we can all agree on, that we can all just live in harmony. No. Uh, the Rhinox came over to try and find better land because their their place is being destroyed. What did I do? Force them out. I'm. Do you know what this is? I'm basically forcing out immigrants. Is that is that really the way you guys want to send this message? It's not very nice. I mean, they were kind of disrupting your land and being bad against you guys. But is is violence really the solution? Are you going to fight violence with violence? Have we learned nothing? Ow! You know what? I was all I was all trying to fucking help you guys, Rhinox. I was trying to be all diplomatic about it. Then you come up and straight just sucker punch me in the face with a pickaxe. Fuck you guys. I'm with the goats. Nice. An extra life and full health and a miss. <laughs> Smash. No. You see what I mean about Sheila? It's really easy to fall off the cliffs as her. Because she like, bounces an extra little bit. Do I have to do all of that again? Son of a diddly. Okay, I'm going straight for the houses. At least I don't have to get the gems again. Those are all gotten. What is gotten cannot be gotten again. Except if you go to McDonald's and you get a double bacon McCheeseburger. Then, then you can get that again if you want. I mean, I don't know if you should. Because I mean, it's bad for you. All fast food is bad for you, but damn if it doesn't taste good. I'm not- I'm not being an advocate against bad- or fast food, by the way. I'm not gonna tell you what you can and can't eat, because Lord knows I eat way too much fast food. Come on! Off the- Oh, I tried to get him off the cliff. Then I would've called you Cliff the Moose. It was- it was a running joke, it would've been funny. Everyone would've laughed. Ha 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 ha! Like that. Just less creepy. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude. This is so much fun. This is seriously such a blast from the past. Is this it? Are we done? Thanks for the help, Sheila. No problem. This egg I found in my house. Ooh, I'm an eggy poo. Nan. You're just born and you already have a granny's name. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select help. No! Do I need help? No, I fucking don't. I got all the eggs in this place. Now I have to get all the gems. Huh? Ha! What a jump! That's not how physics works, though. If you jump and you try and jump again, you'd actually probably jump less. Because you have to... You have to absorb the impact of having just jumped. I mean... What am I talking about? It's a game with fucking talking kangaroos and dragons. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. All of them? Is that all of them? Yeah! Okay, that's Sheila's world complete. Now we don't ever have to come back here ever again. See you later, Sheila. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Plot. Let's listen. Shh. <laughs> Trip him. <laughs> you are so well hidden. There, uh, yeah, I remember. We saw you. Ooh, look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. <laughs> I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. 
She just called him a Thanks, pussy. But I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. Dude, not cool! Kill her! There we go! Burn her to death! Come back when you finish witch school, okay? <laughs> Say, is it just me? Or is she kind of cute when she's angry? I guess you, should, you could say she got burned. Twice. L Spyro literally set her on fire and then dissed her. Sick burn, Spyro. Sick double burn. If I was a dragon, I'd go around double burning everybody. Okay, so before the episode ends, I want to go back in here and do this one. Because I don't want to start a world and then just not finish it. I'd wait till you see I get to the later worlds and I won't finish them because there'll be too much in them. Um, Because I, I don't even know if people are going to like this or if people are going to enjoy watching it. I, I fucking love playing it, so that's excuse enough to do a series on it. But at the same time, be oh! people are always like, Jack, just do what you want. Like, if you're having fun, we'll have fun. Which is awesome, and I really appreciate that, but at the same time, I don't want to do something that people don't necessarily enjoy either. It should be a two-way thing. I should enjoy it, and you guys should enjoy it. And then everybody has fun. Huh. And then we don't have to worry about, oh, are you? when are you going to upload the next episode of this or that or whatever. It's all about funsies. Uh, we are going this way. Huh. It's so weird as well, because the controls for the camera are inverted. It's so annoying. Like, pressing R1 makes the camera go left. Yeah! It's time for Sheila! Hey, Spyro. Good eye. There are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. How did you get here so fast? Actually, it's a world with fucking warp holes everywhere. Alas, I have lost to my love. Guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Oh, no! Can you rescue her for me? Oh no! I lost my- I uh, lost my wife! That's a sweet accent you got. Up, up, up! Straight off the cliff! I mean, all I did was kick him, but he's- he's definitely dead now. You fucking saint. Shut up! Boing! And uh... Huh. That didn't work. Bye you have such a cute little sound effect. Nice. Kill the frogs! They're the real enemy of the game. Not these Rhinox. The frogs. Ah! God damn it, Sheila! You're making me waste all my fucking lives! Because she like walks and then she has like an extra step. She doesn't really, but that's what it feels like. Woo! Fuck all you guys. I'm not even killing you because you have no- You have no gems in you anymore. There's no point in killing you. I have lost the sport. There's no more sport in you guys. And that's all I was doing. Murdering for sport. That's all it was. Nothing more. Hup. Get up. Get on up. I get on down. Hup. Oh. Hup. Hup. Whoa, that was too much. Ah, come on. What a dick lord. Up you get. And uh, up you get. Come on. Okay, I have to hit him as I'm in the midair. Fuck my pink little butthole. <laughs> that was bad, sorry. Fuck sick! I was pressing it and everything! I'll figure it out. Okay, maybe you have to do it like that. But I have to double jump! And that counts as a hit. Which is more annoying. So that's actually hurting me. Okay, I have to get full health back. Give me that health! Nice. Fuck these guys. Fuck you. Fuck all your extended family. Nice. There was a Trixies to it. Sneaky little hobbitses. God damn, this camera is going to be the fucking death of me. Actually, this camera has literally been the death of me several times now. And Sheila's controls. You know what? I'm just going to blame my own suckness on it. Because that's not blame the game. The game is the game is pretty old. At the time, the controls were fine. I'm just comparing to modern games, which is completely unfair. How do we get over there? Woo! And a hup! And a hup! Everybody needs to die in a fire. A fire created by Sheeler. Okay, I thought the camera was just 
spinning on its own forever there for a second. Hup! And a hup! Hups a daisies! No! No, no! No, you fucking don't! Who else wants to go? You want some? You want to tussle with this Sheila Meister? Where the hell am I going? Okay, over here. God, this tower is fucking big! Woo! Is this the Tower of Joy? Nice! What? Marco sent you here. Rapunzel! Oh, restraining order against him. <laughs> Good God! Heavy concepts for a kid's game! But here's an egg anyway. Aw, oh, Lucy. Oh, you little itchy! Do you have mange? It's all the eggs. Do I do I get all the things now? Please tell me that's all the gems. It's not all the gems. Shit. So where do we go to get all the gems? There was another pathway over somewhere, but I don't know how I get to it. Hup! Hup! Cuz- Oh god. This controls weirdly, I don't like it. Hup! We get. Is there a way over somewhere over here? Can I actually look around properly? Oh, I'm scared! Is there any like, free roam camera that I can look at? Where am I even going? There! Oh no, that's not it. I was already there. Oh wait! That's not all the gems, because I don't think I got all the gems in Spyro section. Ah, okay. Okay. Aha! There's fucking secrets over here. There's secrets and there's sacrets, and I'm gonna get them all. Sacred secrets. Ow! Son of a diddly! Ha! Ha! Are you all the gems? Are you all the gems? Are you all the gems? <sighs> See, that one had more in it. Not all the gems. Okay, then. Try to see if there's other places to go. Other things to see. I, I could have sworn I saw an extra area. Was it that area I was seeing? No, I think I've seen one over here. There it is! No! God dang it. Huh. Huh. Can this be all the gems? Oh god, there's a lot of them in here. Nice! These are all big ones as well, so maybe it is. I want them all. I want 100% everything. I, I want it so bad! Yeah! We did it! Everybody! High five! Congratulations, you! Congratulations, you who did it all! You who are the best! Woo! Woo! Okay, let's head back to Spiral. Music's cool as well. Has a nice little charm to it. I think there might actually be a way that I get out faster. I think there might be a button I can press that lets me warp back out to, like, my main world? Can't remember. Oh, I should have talked to him again. I don't think he says much different, though. And Spyro needs to head back to his world. Nice! Okay, so we have two worlds completely finished so far. Um, we don't have all of this area finished. Sunrise Springs, the home hub world. Um, because I think we might need something else. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'm so happy to be playing this. I really hope you guys like it. Um, at the same time, I'm just really glad that I'm playing it anyway. I'm glad I decided to start this. Again, I decided to play this one because I felt like there was more variety to it than a Crash game. Because Crash is very much- the levels in it are super short. You can finish like a level in a minute, two minutes, tops. Some of the levels go on longer, but you're literally just banging out levels and then you defeat a boss. And there's like five worlds that I could have gone through. So I felt like it might have been a bit too fast, it was a bit too repetitive after a while, so I decided to play this one. Still might play Crash after, I have to gauge the reaction to see how people like these older types of games, but... If, if any of you are half as excited as I am to be playing this, it's gonna be a fantastic series and I'm so happy. So happy to be reliving my childhood right now. And hopefully you can see just how excited I am in the video, but... Oh! So good, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. This game isn't super long either, so it's gonna be... Like... Six hour long episodes, maybe? Six to nine. I think nine will be the max. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching it. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! 
like a boss! And high fives all around! <laughs> Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Come on, exploring! There's gonna be some shit somewhere that I haven't seen. Who are you? What are you? Stop looking at me weirdly, I'm my own man. Oh, a giraffe! Hi! Giraffe in space! I'm a go! It's nice, nice to meet you! Who'd have thunk it? Who would have thought that I'd be playing an old PS1 game on the channel? Not I! Not I. 